Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a moment of peace for the morning inspiration thoughts and prayers to begin your day and his day and her day and their day and our day. Okay, we left off at Paul, a prisoner. Paul had been telling people about Jesus. This angered the religious leaders, and they had him arrested. Undoubtedly, those who had been blessed by his ministry were heartbroken. What a shame that this great man had been imprisoned, prevented from doing God's work. Or was he? Paul did not waste the time God had given him as a prisoner. He wrote letters to encourage the churches, and those letters, now a vital, irreplaceable part of the New Testament, have encouraged churches and taught Christians throughout the ages. Paul's work was more meaningful than even he could have imagined. Remember that the next time you feel locked away by circumstances, God has an eternal purpose for putting you where you are. Dear God, this morning I thank you that in every real and symbolic prison, you are still working out your wonderful will. Amen. I, Paul, am a prisoner for the sake of Christ. We continually remember before our God and Father, your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 1, 2, 3. Getting arrested and putting into prison is one way of being in prison. another way of being imprisoned, like being held against your will, etc., etc., but also mentally. I know about this all too well. It's when you, you put yourself in a situation mentally where you feel like you can't get out. You feel there's no hope, there's no way out, when in actuality, there is. You just have to work through it with God's help and God's blessing. And yeah, I was guilty of that for a very long time after the murder of my son. So yeah, just remember that whatever you are right now or wherever you were or wherever you will be, it's where God has placed you and there's a reasoning behind it. There always is. And will it stop you from doing what you have to do? No. No, Paul wrote letters. Oh, these days in prison, you can make phone calls, really, stuff like that, yeah. But if you're imprisoned mentally, then there's things you can do. There's a lot of things you can do besides reading something inspirational, motivational, visiting a church, visiting a cemetery visiting someone who's sick and suffering, visiting the elderly. There's a lot of things you can do. Helping feed the homeless, um, going to a children's hospital, cancer center. There's a lot you can do. Because who couldn't use the positive word of encouragement? I mean, really. And while you're helping others, because this works for me, it's worked for me for years and still does. Like I started out um, helping with the homeless because I wanted to help them. I wanted to make a difference in their life. It, to me, it was about them. <laughs> Little did I know, it was helping me too. God does these things for us. Mm -hmm. No one realized, we're like, wow, how awesome. That's God's love. So remember that when you feel um, in prison. Well, that's it. That's all for now. I hope you got something out of it. May you have a glorious, blessed day. And until the next time, God willing, may you all continue to stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.